but he's just trying to make us amphibious, just allow us to do different things. And I think that's going to be beneficial for the linebacker room, but also the defense. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry if you've already been asked this, but spring ball is kind of wrapped up now. Where do things go for you from here? What can you work on over the summer? Well, spring ball right now, since it wrapped up for me, I'm going to go back, look at the tape, see all my weaknesses grow, see what I did well, and then how I can make, how I can do better. Um, and then also, uh, something I'm going to focus on this summer is grabbing young guys and just bringing them along, bringing them under the wing. Because this, this is what the Hawkeye program is built off of, is just bringing young guys and getting them to grow. Because I, I hate to say it, but we're not bringing in five-star athletes left and right. And we're a developmental program. And as long as some guys, like I, I said this earlier, we, I, like the linebacker crew, we have 12 guys right now, and they all care. So as long as we can grab them, they care, and they want to learn, we're going to bring them along, and, and the Hawkeye football program is going to be in good hands. So that's something I'm going to focus on specifically this year. You're a lot taller than a lot of Iowa linebackers. Does that help you out in the field? Your height and found ways to use it to your advantage? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I can use my height to advantage um, just in coverage, just being able to cover a little bit more ground. But, I mean, I, I feel like it all boils down to how bad you want it, uh, your effort, attitude every single day, and that's something I, I try to pride myself in as I come in every single day ready to work. Uh, no matter if I feel terrible or not, I, it's, it's go time. I and mean, we got to build that. Like, I've just been pounding the idea of consistency. We just need consistency out of everyone right now. And I think these 15 practices are so beneficial to the Iowa football program. And, I just gotta go from there. How, how nice was it to actually have a spring football? I mean, it's sort of just so unusual for you guys. I think that Kirk said 65 of you guys had never gone through yeah. a spring ball. Yeah, I, I was talking about that earlier, but uh, Coach France, I mean, spring ball is just so big. Uh, you, you, you learn by your mistakes, and there's a lot of mistakes made. I mean, even out there today and just throughout these 15 practices. But um, I mean, as long as we can just take it, learn from it, and just move on, that's just gonna make us better as a whole. And I feel like, like you said, there's like 65 guys. We're like, we're, we're a really young team, mm -hmm. and this is this was just so beneficial. I can't even really put into words um, how much we needed this. What's been your impression of the, uh, the secondary? Obviously, a group that has a good amount of experience coming back. We saw Kagan make a play a couple weeks ago. Riley's making some plays today. What's just been your general impression of that group? I feel like the secondary. They're a bunch of tough, tough guys, mentally, physically. Um, they come in every single day ready to work. They push us as linebackers, we push them. They push the D-line, the D-line pushes us. So we all kind of work as a unit. Um, and I feel like the DBs right now are probably the most experienced group out there. Um, so their leadership has been uh, uh, crucial. But I just feel like everyone has to step up and be a leader. And so we can just push that defense forward just because, I mean, Iowa, we, we're traditionally a great defense. So we just got to keep that standard. You, you guys have such a high ceiling as far as a linebacker core. I think you guys are probably one of the more consistent performers, at least position group. But I think Seth Wallace said all of you guys have at least three years of eligibility still left. I mean, what what's the ceiling for, for the linebackers? Not just this year, but yeah. in the future too. I mean, just as a group, we got 12 guys in there. And I feel like everyone's seeing them. The sky's the limit. Just because I feel like everyone shows up, no one complains. Like everyone wants to be there. Everyone gives effort, has a great attitude. So the sky's the limit for every single one of us. It's just how bad we want it. I mean, I feel like uh, as a group, as a linebacker group, we we've set a, we've set some standards before the season, just as a as a group and with Coach Walls. And I feel like that's going to flow throughout the summer and into the season. I just gonna, and I just feel like it's going to be uh, really beneficial. And I mean, we'll see what happens in August. Sure. What do you